Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Long time, no see. I know, it feels so good to be back in filming and I'm so excited for today's video because we're doing a complete review of the ColourPop and Animal Crossing collection. I have been saying this whole time, like this whole quarantine, I'm like, ColourPop needs to collab with Animal Crossing. It would be so cute. Like I just know it would be. And then you know what? It happened. I'm a huge fan of Animal Crossing. I got the game last March when it came out and I genuinely don't know how I would have survived quarantine without it. Like I know that sounds crazy, like it's just a game, but it just, it brings so much joy, it brings so much comfort. Um, a lot of my friends play it too. So it's nice to like be able to play with each other and stuff like that. So it's just been a really, really good thing for me to have during quarantine. And it's been a way to stay connected with friends too. So I was just so excited for this. I like, no matter what the collection looked like, I knew that I was gonna buy it. So maybe I'm a little biased, but I'm so excited to be trying out all the products for the first time today. I have swatched a few of them here and there, but I have not applied them to my face or my eyes or anything. But before we get started, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell as well if you wanna be notified whenever I upload. Um, and yeah, without further ado, Let's get to it. Okay, so I've got my box here. Everything is inside. So I did get the full collection. And when you do that, it actually comes with a little sticker sheet, which is actually so adorable. And we're gonna talk about each individual product, but we're gonna start off with the eyeshadow because I have nothing on right now. And if you get the full set, it actually comes in a little package like this. And it has all four eyeshadow palettes in here. The little pack is called True Friends. I'm absolutely gonna keep this little box to keep my palettes in because it's so cute. And you can buy this little bundle of the four palettes and it retails for $48 or $12 each, which at first I was like, you're not getting a deal there. I thought like, you know, you would think that if you put all four palettes together in a bundle, they'd give you like a little deal, but no, they don't. Okay, and here are the four palettes right here. Of course, I'm gonna show you the inside of each, but we'll do that as we go along. Okay, we're gonna start with this palette, which is the What A Hoot palette. And on the front, it has little pictures of Celeste and Blathers, the little owls, I love them. Here's what the inside looks like. It's definitely the most neutral of the palettes. Each one comes with a metallic shade, a matte shade, a sequin shade, and a pressed glitter, which honestly, the pressed glitter is not my favorite formula, but okay, here are the swatches. Starting from here, this one is called Celestial. This is called Who. This is All a Flutter. And this is Meteor Shower. They all swatch really well. They seem really pigmented, so. That's good. They do also come with little mirrors, which I think is an added bonus to this too. Okay, so I'm probably gonna do the same style of makeup look for each of these palettes, just because I just wanna test them out, let you know how they are. And I just wanna show you the way that I would probably use them most often. Okay, so we're gonna go into the What A Hoot palette. I'm gonna go into the shade Celestial first. I'm just gonna put this all over through my crease. Definitely comes off much more as an orange on the lid. It looked a bit more muted in the pan, but right now it's looking a lot more of like I mean, it's not super vivid, but it definitely has a bit more of like a vivid tone to it than I was expecting. Okay, I'm gonna put it on my lower lash line as well. Like I said, I'm just gonna be doing pretty simple style of eyeshadow looks with these palettes. It's just, you know, I'm just trying to test them out, let you know how they are and how they perform, but I am gonna use every color from each palette. Okay, so that shade blended really nicely. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the shade Who, which is the dark brown. And it's definitely a lot darker than that original shade that we put on, so gonna see how these blend together and I'm gonna put it on the outer corner see how it's like much darker <laughs> okay I'm just dipping back into the celestial shade to help blend that out okay yeah I get that that's just a four pan palette but these two shades could definitely use like a shade in between the two colors to kind of help them blend together it's a bit hard to blend them um on their own but we will persevere the key is to just go back and forth between each color and then you'll get a seamless blend all right, I'm pretty happy with that blend right there. I was thinking about bringing some of the dark brown on the bottom, but we'll come back to that in the end. So now I'm gonna go into the shade All of Flutter. It's the metallic shade in the palette. I think I'm just gonna use my finger. Ooh, it's really soft, really, really soft, really pigmented. And I'm just gonna put it, oh, that's beautiful. Can you see? It's a really pretty bronze color or like copper. Ooh, I am getting a little bit of fallout though. I'm actually gonna try that with a brush. Okay, it's a really pretty shade, but there's a lot of fallout with this shade. Like a lot of the little glitters are falling out underneath. Um, Let's see, we can try it. Let's try it and wet the brush and then maybe that'll help it out. Okay, so I just dipped in the eyeshadow and then I'm gonna take my huge Milani Make It Last setting spray. And yeah, that definitely helps with the fallout and it makes it even more foiled. It looks really pretty that way. So I would say using a setting spray or something like that, just wetting your brush on this shade is the way to go. Just taking a fluffy brush and kind of blending everything together. 
Okay, yeah, there is a lot of fallout with that olive flutter shade that we just used. It is like all down on my face right here. Okay, I am just gonna take a little angled brush and go back into the shade Who really lightly on the outer corner of my lower lash line. All right, now this glitter shade. It even says on the back, these are not intended for use in the immediate eye area. So it's like, why why are you putting them in my palette? Like, I wish it would have been a super shock shadow or something like that. I mean, I'm sure it'll be pretty. You know, I think I'm just gonna put it on the lid. I think it'll look pretty there. Probably should use like a glitter glue with this, but I'm just gonna tap it on. Kind of put it everywhere because it's glitter it's gonna get everywhere anyways <laughs> so there is my glitter what i was thinking of doing too is kind of like running it along the lower lash line that might have looked pretty and there's less risk of it going in your eyeball but um no i think it's cute i like it all right so i just put on a little bit of Too faced better than sex mascara this is just a little mini one it was my birthday gift from ulta when it was my birthday and honestly I used to be such a hater of this mascara like i just didn't think it was that great but i've been using this and now i'm like it's really kind of like it. So this is the finished look. So I did like this palette. It's just, I, I know there's glitter in each and every one of these palettes and that's just not my favorite formula. I mean, I think the look turned out really cute. This is definitely the most wearable of the four palettes in my opinion. But yeah, all the shades blended together really nicely. It was just a little bit difficult to blend this lighter shade into the darker shade and vice versa, but it is possible. You just have to go back and forth between each shade. One downside besides the fact that there's a glitter in the palette and it's just not my favorite but whatever um there was a little bit of fallout on the metallic shade but once i wet my brush and i used it that way it was totally fine so that's the way i would recommend using the metallic in this palette i don't think i explained this in the beginning but i'm just gonna do an eye look on each eye for each palette so i'll do these two i'll wipe it off and then we'll do the other two palettes just so we can use the palettes a bit quicker okay so the next one is called five star island and we have sweet little isabel on the front and here is what the inside looks like really pretty pink shades okay so here are the swatches this one is island tune this one is resident rep which is the sequin shade and honestly this one is so pretty with the glitters inside Usually with the sequin shades, once you put it on, the glitters kind of just blend away. But with this one, I'm kind of hoping that they stay because it's really, really pretty. Um, okay, moving on. This one is just called Isabel. And then this one is called Island Designer. Now this one, it is the glitter in the palette, but it feels a lot more like a super shock shadow to me. Like it felt like a lot more smoother. So hopefully we have a bit better experience applying this one. Okay, for this one, I'm just gonna start off with the shade Island Tune. And we're going to apply that in the same way as we did the transition shade in the first one, just all over the crease. Ooh, this is a really pretty shade. Again, they come off looking a lot more vibrant than they do in the pan, which I think is a good thing. Okay, again, just gonna take that and run it along the lower lash line as well. Okay, first I'm gonna take a flat brush and use the Resident Rep shade, this one right here, just because I wanna see if I can keep the shimmer in it, because it's really pretty. I have a feeling it's just gonna blend right away, but yeah, kind of as soon as you put it on there, the glitter just pieces out. Okay, what we are getting is fallout though. I'm sad, I wanted that to work. Let me just continue to pack that on. Yeah, there's like a few specks of glitter, but Mm, not much at all. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back to using my small blender brush and just working this into the outer portion of my lid. Okay, those two blend together really well, much better than these two shades. And actually, I'm gonna take the Resident Rep shade and run that along my lower lash line. Okay, then for this look, I think I'm gonna go into Island Designer, which is the glitter, but it feels more like a super shock to me. Ooh, oh, that is, <gasps> do you see that? That is pretty. Oh, that is pretty. Ooh, I don't I don't want to stop looking at that. <laughs> it looks so pretty. And this one applied more evenly too than the other glitter. This one applies much more like a super shock shadow, just with like bit bigger pieces of glitter in there. Because if you look over here, those pieces of glitter are like so randomly placed, like they're really sparse. But on this side, this is cute. I like this. And I'm getting a little bit of fallout, but like not much. Not as much in comparison to this side. Then for our last shade, the one called Isabel, I am just gonna put that in my inner corner, I think. I don't know what else to do with it. Ooh, that's pretty. It comes off just like a really soft, pale yellow gold. It's really pretty. This would have been really pretty all over the lid too. Also just gonna bring it a little bit onto the lower lash line and blend it in. I like this one. Honestly, I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about this one, but this look is so pretty. I really like it. Okay, again, I'm just gonna put on mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, here's the look from the Five Star Island palette. 
this one is my favorite so far for sure this one is my favorite so far i really like that palette i also kind of feel like the formula in this palette was a little bit better than this one just slightly okay next eyeshadow palette is the nook ink palette so beautiful this is one of the ones i was most excited for for sure okay this one right here is called made in the shade this is called water landing this is called yes yes and this one is called CEO. And again, this one feels a lot more like a super shock shadow than it does a glitter. So, so hopefully we're in for a good look here too. Okay, I'm gonna start off with using Made in the Shade. Gonna put that all throughout the crease, kind of like we've been doing this whole time. This one is that sequin shadow formula, which means it does have the glitters in there, but they're pretty much blending away. It's kind of like a nice sea foam green. It's really pretty. I think it just comes with the sequin shadows that there is a lot of fallout with these because like the glitters are flying everywhere so you're gonna end up getting glitter kind of beneath your eye it's not that bad and you can typically just brush it away but it is something to note okay now i'm gonna take some of this water landing shade and oh, this is such a pretty color and i'm gonna put that on the outer corner this shade is so pretty it kind of it's like emerald it has a bit of like a bluish undertone to it it's very pretty wow just going back into the lighter green shade and blending it out Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of the darker green on a small brush and run that along my lower lash line. Now for the lid, I think I'm, end up, I'm gonna end up putting a mixture of both of these on there because they're both so pretty and I wanna see how they both look on the lid. So first I'm gonna go in with the Yes Yes shade. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow, yeah, that shade is so, so pretty. Definitely has like a blue shift to it, but also still being really green. And just because why not? We're gonna put the CEO shade right on top of it. Let's see what happens. Oh my God, do you see that? This is so much better than that first, um, like the bronzy glitter. This goes on, like it's, it definitely is not a super shock shadow, but it feels much more like it than just the pressed glitters. Okay, I'm gonna go put mascara on. Be right back. All right, so here is the finished look of the Nook Ink palette. I really, really like how this one turned out too. I love these kind of green shades. I'd like to call this look. All right, so the final palette of the collection is the La Belle of the Ball palette. Um, this one I'm really excited about too because I love, love, love purple shadows. So this is what we're looking at in this palette. Okay, so here's the swatches. This one is called Taylor's Ticket. This one is called Serene Sable. This one is Custom Design. It's more of like a duochrome. And then this is called Able Sisters. Okay, so again, just like the other palettes, like I said, we're doing very basic looks. I just kind of wanted to try each of the shadows and show you how they perform. Um, but we will be starting off with the Taylor's Ticket shade. Okay, I'm just gonna dust away that fallout. Well said, you're gonna be very glittery using these palettes. Just 100%, just know that. <laughs> okay, going into Serene Sable. I'm gonna be very careful with this one because dark purples are sometimes difficult to work with. So I'm just going to tap. It's actually performing very well. So I'm actually gonna take that shade and put that on my lower lash line. So next I'm gonna take the custom design shade, it's the duo chrome, and we're gonna put that all over the lid. I'm gonna start with my finger, but I'm probably gonna end up using a little brush as well. Ooh, mm, that's looking really cool. It has like a greenish blue reflect to it, which works out kind of cool because we have the green over here. All right, and for our last shade, the glitter shade right here, I was gonna put it like in my inner corner, but I also kind of want it to match the side for like symmetry reasons. I don't know. Um, so I am just gonna go ahead and put this on top of the duochrome. So we're gonna go into the shade Able Sisters. Ooh, yeah. Like I'm just, I'm a sucker for glitter. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry. So that is how that is looking. It looks super, super pretty. I will say if you don't like glitter, you're not gonna like any of these palettes. Like you're just not, um, but. I do love glitter. Okay, so this is the finished look using the La Belle of the Ball palette. I love both of these so, so much. I can't even decide which one is my favorite. Okay, I'm filming this section in between trying the eyeshadow palettes, but for you, it'll be right after I try all the eyeshadow palettes. Um, but now it's time to try the blushes. There are two blushes in the collection. The first one is called Flower Power. And then on the inside, it's pretty much the exact same thing. It just has a really cute illustration of the flower from in the game and then a lot of cute little characters. And this one is a really cool kind of more mauve cool tone color. And I don't think I have a blush like this in my collection. So I'm excited to try it out. Then the other blush is the one called Flower Tender. And then here's what the actual palette looks like. This one is much more of a corally peach tone blush. And it's, 
has the little flower imprint on it just like the other one. So just to make things a little bit easier on my face, <laughs> I'm gonna try one blush on one side and one on the other side. I'm gonna start off with the Flower Tender Blush. Okay, and I only, I didn't put any like bronzer or anything on, it's just foundation and powder. So we don't have anything else getting in the way of what this color looks like. Have I ever tried a pressed ColourPop blush? I don't think I have. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's a sweet little color. Oh my gosh, that's a sweet color. I really like that color blush. Um, normally I would put a little bit less on, but it's really pretty. It's really smooth too. It's kind of like a satin finish. Um, I am just gonna take a little bit of my face powder and tone it down a little bit just because that's what I like. We're gonna go in with the Flower Power blush, which is the cool toned, more mauve color. Yeah. Wait, that's really pretty. I don't have a blush like that. Oh my gosh, that's so different. I really, I really like it. And I'm glad I put it on this side with the pink eyeshadow look. I feel like it goes better. <laughs> I feel like it definitely needs to go with a certain eye look. It's really nice. I'm actually very, very surprised. I was kind of nervous how I'd feel about this shade. Both are really pretty. I'm actually very impressed with both of these blushes. So both of these blushes get a thumbs up from me. Oh, I forgot to mention, you can get both of these in a set for $24 or they're $12 each. Okay, so next thing in the collection are the Just a Tint Mini Duos. These are precious. I've actually never tried this formula from ColourPop before, the Just a Tint line. Um, so I was really excited to try these and I like that they're minis because I probably never go through a full Just a Tint lip product unless it was like my favorite color. But anyway, there are three duos here and they are $12 each where you can get all three for, guess how much? 12 times three, $36. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. It's like usually when you bundle something together, you get kind of a discount, but anyways, this is the first one here. This is called Pick of the Bunch. And the first one is called Incomparable. Oh yeah, and each of these kind of represent one of the fruits in Animal Crossing. There are six different ones you can have on your island. Um, so yeah, this is the pear one and they actually are all scented, like the fruits too. This one's honestly probably my favorite. I did smell them all already. I couldn't resist, um, but I really, really like the pear scented one. This is what it looks like swatched. Really pretty color there. And then this one right here is called coconut juice. It smells, yeah, it smells like coconuts. Uh, and then here it is, this is much darker. Wow, really good swatches. I'm really good at this. Okay, so let's try on coconut juice first. Mm, I like how smooth and thin and juicy. Oh my God, I love this pear scent. This is probably the color that I will use most often. This is so nice. I really, really like this color. It feels really lightweight on your lips. I really like this color. Anyways, let's move on. Let's try on coconut juice. Mmm. Oh my gosh. This is a beautiful color. Ooh. I guess I applied it really bad, but let's ignore that. Wow, I'm really shocked at how much I like this. Typically for dark color lipsticks, I like something that's more matte that I know is gonna stay in place, but I don't know, this is really pretty. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do is the Fruit Roots Duo. This one comes with Peach Surprise and Orange Cutie. So first let's try on Peach Surprise. That smells good, it smells like peaches. It better. Oh, I didn't swatch on my hand. Oh no. Here is Peach swatched on my hand. It's definitely similar to the pear one, but a bit more of a peach undertone, which is understandable. Mm, this one's really, really nice too. I think I'm I think I'm gonna like most of these, honestly. This one's a little bit similar to the pear one, but definitely much more peach and warm toned. Okay, the next one in the duo is Orange Cutie. Here is how it looks. You'd think it would be a bit more orange. It's more of just like a deeper peach than the first one. Okay, so here is Orange Cutie. It's okay, it's not my favorite of the scents. This one's really pretty too. I expected it to be like a bit more orange toned or something because it's the orange one, but it's still really pretty. I'm not gonna lie, the scent of this one at first I like, but then I realized that it smells kind of like, like a bathroom cleaner. <laughs> mm, so maybe not my favorite. Okay, and the last duo is the Fruit Basket Duo, which comes with the Apple and Cherry. Okay, so this one is called Cherry Cherry. That smells pretty good. A lot of people don't like artificial cherry scents, which I understand, but that's what it looks like swatched. I was gonna say it's just a tint, but it's literally what the product is called. So um, great job on the product name ColourPop because that's exactly what it is. It's like just a tint. I feel like my application is getting messier and messier as we go on, but I'm kind of digging this color. All right, and the very last one is called Juicy Apple. Mm, this is my next favorite. The pear is my favorite scent, and then this one is the next one. This is what it looks like swatched. It's a bit more of like a pinky red in a way. 
So I have to be honest, this is probably not a color that I would wear very often. Kind of looks really good with this eye look, um, but it's a really pretty color. It's again, feels the same. They've all have felt very comfortable on the lips. They apply really easily. Um, it is a really pretty color. It's just not one that I would probably personally grab a lot. All right, so there are two more products left in the collection that we have yet to talk about. And the first is the Super Shock Shadow and the adorable little present packaging that it's called Balloon Pop. And I actually already have mine out because mine unfortunately did come broken. One of my friends who ordered this too, hers also came broken, but she contacted ColourPop and they sent her a new one. So you could totally do that. I just, I just didn't do that. I should have, but it's fine. This is what it looks like. Well, I tried to like press it back in there as well as I could. There you go. It's a really, really pretty kind of color. I could take this off and put it on my eye, just so you can see it. But I think, I think a swatch is gonna do it justice. <laughs> Please give my eyes a break. <laughs> They've been through a lot today. So here, I'm just gonna swatch it right here. It's very pretty kind of like bronzy. There it is, bronzy kind of color, but it has a nice, it has like pink glitters in it. It's really, really pretty. I think it'll go with a lot of different eyeshadow looks. And it feels just like the standard Super Shock Shadow formula, which I love. So I know that I'll be using this a lot too. In the final product in the collection, it's adorable, but I have to say, I don't know when I'm going to use this. Like I really don't. It is the Glitterly Obsessed Gel Glitters, um, but it's in the shade Billionaire. Now I have to say the packaging is adorable. It has a little bell bag on it. Bells are the currency in Animal Crossing, so it's really cute. Um, like the whole idea of it is really cute, but this is what it looks like right here But it, this is meant for your body like these glitter pieces in here are way too big to put on your eyes Like I would not recommend that. It smells kind of good. It actually smells like Body glitter that you used to use like in the 90s early 2000s mm, It's kind of taking me back. Here's what it looks like in the little pot there. It's really pretty It's just I don't know when I'm gonna use this, <laughs> you know, okay, so here's what it looks like swatched It's just a really pretty gold glitter. I think it'd be really cute to put on like your collarbones or your chest or your shoulders if you're at like a music festival or something one day. Um, one day there will be a place to wear this, but that day is just not today. Oh, I forgot to mention, this is $10 and the Super Shock Shadow is $7. All right, and that's everything in the collection. I was going to try and pick favorites, but I liked all of the eyeshadow palettes. I will say my least favorite was the first one, the What a Hoot palette. I just, that one just I don't know, it wasn't my favorite. I really prefer the colorful palettes so much more. Like I love the looks I did with all of them. The blushes surprised me. I really love how the blushes looked. The lip products too. I think my favorite one is the pear shade, which is the one that I'm wearing right now. It's just such like a nice nude color and it's so comfortable and I love the scent of it too. So those are probably my favorites. So least favorites, like I said, the first eyeshadow palette, not quite my favorite. Um, the glitter, I just don't know when I'm gonna use that. You know what I mean? I'm gonna keep it. It's adorable. Everything in the collection is adorable and I'm gonna keep everything either way. I guess I guess I'm a little biased because I love Animal Crossing. I think everything is just so cute. Um, however, there are some things that I would have done differently or if they would do like a part two or something, I think that would be so cool. I thought it was odd that there was only one Super Shock Shadow in the whole collection, like just one. Usually collections have so many more. I think it would have been cool to make like four of them or something and do really bright colors. Cause like there's a lot of bright colors in Animal Crossing. I think that would have been really, really cool. I guess they just wanted to make it more wearable for people. I think I would have done bright super shock shadows. Also my biggest one, where's the highlighter? We really should have had a highlighter in here, whether it was a super shock highlighter, a pressed one, like. You could have called it like shooting stars or something. I really feel like that was something that was missing. I think that would have been so much cooler than this. Like you could have had a gold highlighter, a shooting stars, like champagne -y highlighter. I think that would have been really cute because I'm like the, bl the blushes are absolutely beautiful, but I think we could have just added another face product in there and that would have been, you know, chef's kiss. Either way, everything was adorable. I'm glad I have it all. It's like it said, it's a collector's item for sure. So I'm so glad I have all these. Everything was so cute. So thank you so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave me a comment down below, either letting me know your favorite Animal Crossing villager or what was your favorite item that I tried in the collection. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.